Hello everyone, in this video I will explain you what is string format method in UI path and how to use it. So look at this document, uh, this string format method is will converts the value of the objects to strings and inserts them into another text. So it is used in many scenarios like sending emails, preparing employee details or preparing ID codes for student with some format. Okay, so this is the syntax of using this format method in UI path and here I have uh, student details of two different student names uh, for example this is a student with name Sharat and roll number one and school name is Vidyalaya and city name is Hyderabad okay so similarly the student two is uh, his name is Kumar and roll number is two and school name is Vidyalaya and city is Hyderabad okay so if you observe here the school name and the city name fields are same for the both students so while preparing the uh, ID cards you know need to enter every time so it will be constant and it will be constant and you can only change the student name and roll number so go to our ui path studio let's do it okay so take the sequence activity into our designer panel and search for assign activity to assign a student name and roll number and one more assign activity for roll number okay and for school name and for city name so you can also view uh, the, the name and roll number dynamically but for now i'm going to use this assign activity and i will also show you how to use input dynamic input dynamic activity to take the user input okay so let me assign sorry let me, and i'm name it as student name Okay, inside student name, I will assign the value of string as Sharat. That's fine. And in the next assign activity, create a variable and name it as roll number. And assign the value here, which is in type of data and it is one. Okay. So create a variable and name it as school name and name it as Vidyalaya as a string type of data. And for the city it is Hyderabad. So okay, click on the sequence and go to variables panel. A student name is string type of data and roll number is int and school name is string and city name is string. Okay. So okay, and I'm going to use message box activity to display our output. And here we need to write our syntax. It's string dot format inside the braces our first assign activity is the student name so you student name within quotations student name is or student name colon i will use this braces within braces is zero so this braces with zero will replace with the text given in this student name variable okay so add a comma and next is and next is roll number within braces it's one so this braces inside one is going to replace with the text one in this roll number variable and now add a comma so let me show you properly click on this press and open in advanced editor so student name roll number and now i'm going to enter school name okay school name within braces it's two 
so if it is going to replace with the text school name and next last one is city within braces is the three so now add a comma and give all the variable names that we have created so first is a student name and second is a roll number and third is school name and next is city okay so add a comma and first one is student name so outside these quotations add a comma first one is student name hit on control space it will suggest you the variable name and a comma next one is roll number okay comma and next one is school name add a comma and next one is a city okay so you can see properly the syntax So now uh, this student name is a string that we have um, typed with our hands and these curly braces inside uh, zero is going to replace with student name and this curly braces with the one is going to replace with roll number and this curly braces with the two is going to replace with the school name and this curly braces inside um, three is going to replace with the city. So let me run this. So look at this message box this is the um, student details or we can prepare uh, an id code with this details for example let me give the student name and roll number uh, with user input or dynamically so i will delete this assign activity and roll number and i'm going to use input dialog activity and one more input dialog activity for other roll number but I will not change the school name and city name because those are constant for every student and label name within quotations name and label enter student name and value First, I will delete these two variables. So, I will give the same variable name. within quotations roll number and input inside input label enter roll number of student and in this field I am going to create a variable for roll number And change the variable type to int for roll number okay that's it here and let me change the variable names hit and control space it will suggest you the variables that we have created recently and student name, roll number, school name and city. So okay, let's me let me run now. So it is asking me to enter the student name dynamically. I will enter Tanvita. Okay. And roll number is two. 
okay and you can see at the message box the student details like student name is Tanvita roll number is 2 school name is Vidyalaya and city is Hyderabad so click on ok and now run the code again and now you can enter a different student names and different roll numbers with the constant school name and city so this is how using a string format method in UiPath keep practicing on it thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe